Yo guys, this game here is against Nunu mid lane. I went Conqueror, Triple Haze to Ignite Flash, my normal build with Axiom Hubris into either Profane or Grudge, and then Grudge or Profane, whichever one I didn't get. And I usually just go Edge of Night last. It's just a classic build I've been doing recently on the current patch. And I haven't played against Nunu mid lane in a good while, but yeah, uh, let's see how this game goes. So before the lane starts, I'm thinking about where to ward. And I decided to ward the side instead of the lane because I see that Nunu had Oracle Lens, which means that he's most likely going to just, you know, sweep the lane instead, right there, as I pointed out. Um, so I ward on the right, thinking that if he's going to roam and he goes to the right, I'll see him. And if I don't see him on that ward and he's roaming, it, it's obvious he's going top lane, right? Because he can probably, you know, only go two places, left or right. And you can't really do much against Nunu level 1. Or in lane in general, you can't shove the wave before his snowball hits the lane. And if his snowball hits you as well, you're going to get chunked really hard. So you just want to prepare the CS for go going under tower and last hitting them. Like this. So I just hit, hit, hit. And we just take the CS. Uh, we see the Nunu on the ward. And we ping him every time. So that's all you can really do against Nunu in the mid lane. Um, or against like some roaming champs. Uh, but in general, I guess Nunu is just snowballs every lane and is really annoying. So against him, you can only really ping and keep pinging missing or ping your teammates back as you farm and as you shove waves out. Of course, right now we are level 2, which means we can't really shove the wave much at all. So we have to only ping and just farm as much as we can. And be kind of careful with pushing the waves um, before your first recall because you don't have enough damage to push really fast. So right here, I think I tried to rush level 3, and I'm pretty sure he chunks me. So yeah, um, which is a mistake by me. I should wait for his snowball and just play, play uh, further back. Instead of trying to get level 3 first, I should just wait and let the minions go 1 HP and then use my Q to farm and just be really, really slow instead because I get chunked like this and I just lose more agency in the lane knowing that, you know, I don't actually have damage to shove the wave. It means that I should just let him shove, essentially. And then right here, he's just getting his snowball bigger to blow up the wave like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's this is just... <laughs> it's not really a lane, I guess. You, you're just meant to farm. You can't really push. You can't really trade. You can't do anything against Nunu until you get some items. Um, but yeah, this is the early laning phase. And every time that the Nunu roams, you're going to want to keep pinging missing. Right here, I pressed it once. But I should probably ping it a bit more. And then right here, I know that the next wave is cannon, so I'm going to try and shove. This time I have my W, so if he uses his snowball, I'll be able to W it away. And it looks like he recalled, so I get the shove. Oh, no, actually he went spot. So I get the shove, and I think I recall. I could stay to try and hit the tower, but the tower has protection still, and I don't deal enough damage for it to be irrelevant. So I take the recall, knowing that I get a great base with my, you know, longsword, boots, and... Um, Oracle Lens and then I run back knowing that the next wave is cannon. But actually it's a mistake to go Oracle Lens looking back on it now. Because I need wards to put in the lane for the Nunu so we can see where he goes. Or you know if I don't put it in the lane then I need to put it in the sides. And even though he has Sweeper it's probably better to do that because I don't have enough pressure still. I don't really have enough agency to shove or fight him or you know follow his roams. So in that sense it's better to just have wards. So that I can ward and try to help my team through vision instead. Since right now we're 1 and 6 and my team is getting pretty beat up. But yeah, this is like the first few minutes against the Nunu this game. Okay, so Nunu and Nautilus come mid and they shove. And I want to show you guys something you can do with the wave. Right here I only have 450 gold. I know I don't want to base because I want pickaxe. And I see one minion and I want to use that against him. Uh, see Nunu is basing, he's trying to base, he has no mana so he's most likely going to commit to it. And I know that if I shove this it doesn't really get me anything because I can't really roam bots, they shoved it in. And also I don't have pickaxe and I can't go top because my Malphite is not level 6. So I used that one minion right there by not killing it to let his minions kill mine. And now two of my minions are dead. And I'm farming things at the very last second, taking the minions at the very very last second. Um, although this Q here is a bit bad, I could wait a tiny bit more. And he would miss the last minion, like, behind as well. But I did deny, like, four minions or so. And right here, I'm just waiting. We're just waiting patiently. I do my W a bit late there. But, you know, doing that is better than shoving, in my opinion. Because I need my uh, pickaxe. As I just ult this guy, I panic ulted. 
And then I... What do I do here? I can't remember. I think I get the cannon, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, I got it. But yeah, basically... The reason that I don't shove is because I want my pickaxe and I want to keep kind of some level of control of the lane. Of course I got hit by some spells which is really bad, like the first snowball that hit me was really silly. Using my W way too late there, really really ridiculous. But yeah, we stay, we shove, we know that Nunu's roaming and we can get a base for pickaxe. And with 2 and 9, my team is kind of dying, but winnable as my Marfa is level 4 against a level 7 Irelia. As I'm taking this tower plating, I use my W forwards to get the next wave as well, which is really greedy. I see Nunu is level 6, so I take my W and try to run. Unfortunately, Elise shows up. And I want to show you guys a combo that you can use when you're really low, and you just need to try and get your spells out to try and kill the enemy. So Elise flashes over, and then I don't see until I'm in the bush. And I ult. So you ult, you ignite, Q, auto E. Make sure you auto attack after your Qs and your E. Because then you have a higher likelihood of hitting your passive auto attack, which is what I got in the Elise there, which is why I was able to kill her and shut her down. So it's very important to try and get your passive auto attack when you try and ult someone in general. But in that case where you need to get all your spells out as fast as possible, use Q, auto E, ignite as fast as you can. Just spam Q as you're in the ult shadow um, or the ult thing for the 0.5 seconds after you ult someone. And when it comes out, you will ult your Q and then you auto E, ignite and hopefully your E or hopefully your auto attack will be a passive auto attack, which is the main thing which will give you the bunch of damage that you need to kill people, as said. So I get really lucky in this fight against Aurelia. The team score is 516. Aurelia is probably their most fed member. He's very fed. So I use my W backwards and I dodge his E. Then look at that damage. <laughs> I ult his W, which is very important that you ult the W damage. Um, so I don't die. And then of course he didn't auto me as I ulted onto him. So I get kind of lucky there. Where I'm able to chase him down and get the big shut down. As Malphite kind of reacted really late on the Elise flash. So I die. But I get the shut down. Which means maybe we can come back into this game. Who knows. So my brand ends up going for Herald. While they all go bot. And luckily the enemy Aurelia gets uh, spotted on the Gromp. So I really want to kill her. Knowing that if we kill her. It can be winnable. We just need to kind of get whatever gold we possibly can. And so I ult him. Use all my spells. Just throw your spells onto the Aurelia W if it's a triple Q and you have multiple people around. Don't be shy. Uh, especially if the enemy Aurelia is fed. You know that you need to just get your spells out before she wreaks a lot of havoc. And I get the kill, which is really nice. And we get the minions. We get level 11. And hopefully we can win. We have second item in base at minute 14, which is not the worst. So I end up taking the Hexgate and the enemy bot lane overstays because they're really greedy to kill the Jinx again. Which is bad by them because I'm able to just come in with the brand, use my combo on Kaiser, saving my ult for the Nautilus. And so I can just follow him as he queues onto the wall. And I try to make sure that I get the kill from the Malphite because my Malphite is useless and we need all the kills. And I got some Hubris stacks from that. We have another 1.1k gold. We're going to keep pushing and get the tower. And this is something that's pretty important to do. Um, you know, when you're, even if you're ahead or behind... Make sure you always capitalize on this. Like after you get kills, think about whether you can take the tower or not. Right here we see three people topside. So I know that I can go and take this tower with the next waves as well. Which is going to give me a lot of gold, a lot of XP. This next wave, after taking it, I'll probably have around, you know, 1800 to 1900 gold. And I was only at like 1100 before this play. So it's something to keep in mind. And right here we queue him and we can just force him a bit away there because he gets scared. Which is great. So now I end up in bot lane and I'm pushing again. My whole team dies mid, but they're able to trade two back, which is very, very good for us. Um, even though three died and they have Herald mid, I know that I can get this tower, which is very, very important. Uh, but one thing I didn't really notice is that Nunu was missing and he's not mid. So he's coming bot with a snowball. And I just want you guys to see how I react. So I use W forwards, use my spells. So I ult as he comes in, make sure the snowball doesn't hit me. And as I'm chasing, I watch my energy levels so I don't spam my E, knowing that I need to just hit him a few more times to get my Conqueror stacks, and then use my E auto ignite at the end with the minions to kill him. It's a bit more important that I don't E because I would run out of energy and I wouldn't be able to like um, get much of like an enhanced E, I guess. So because if you get another Conqueror stack by auto attacking and then you use E after, I'm pretty sure you do more damage than if you do E and then you auto attack. Um, at least that's just my feeling, but maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? So Aurelia shows up top lane and we end up getting a timer to try and rush the Baron. I'm very strong. I have three items and I don't want to tank. I want to make sure that I'm pretty healthy and ready to fight. 
as I use my W on this because I'm thinking we're still behind and we kind of need to rush it before people come. We get it and as I'm running away, I realize that I'm half HP. I know Aurelia is probably behind me on the other bush. I use my W forwards, I realize that Brand got a good ult so I take the W, auto E, use my ult only after a second or two or rather one and a half seconds or so because I know Nautilus will use his Q and then right here I just kill the Elise and I ult the Irelia knowing that I'm going to flash to try and create some more distance just so that I can hopefully get my Q auto E off. Uh, I actually ended up flashing his W damage as well which saved me I think and we get the pentakill and uh, we kind of turn the game around from this because we get the penta, we get the shove, we get you know a bunch of gold and we got the baron as well so yeah and I think I get this tower as well let me forward it. We get top tower tier 2 and mid tower tier 1. So as we're sieging, I'm thinking about how to enter the fight. As soon as I see Aurelia on the left, I know I just want to run into this fight. Just try to get my to my team and help them out a bit. And then I ult onto Aurelia knowing that I have W again. And throw the Qs into his W because it doesn't matter as much. Knowing that you need to just get your damage out before she one shots you. As I said a bit earlier into the game. And we kill her, we get the siege but unfortunately... We try to push, if I forward it, we actually don't end up ending the game. As we go in, I ult onto him, he flashes and he kind of delays quite a lot of time. I realize that Elise is coming up and we don't have enough damage. So I think I run away while my team just dies. <laughs> we take the hex gate, trying to ping my team to run away but they don't. And then I'm trying to take the blue buff. I'm not sure if I get this in time, I think I do. Like just barely get it and then run away. That was very close, but yeah. But now after that, I get kind of annoyed because they're going to get the soul. And I'm thinking to fight because Kai says mid. And I just WW in, ult and then I auto E the Nunu again. So I get my next W up and I'm able to run away with that W as I kill the Nunu. And as we have a Lulu coming up here, I just flash in knowing that I can get my E back up or my W back up by using E. And then my ult comes back up from Axiom and we're able to kill the Kaisa. And we ace them even though they got the dragon and we get a quadra kill and if I forward it a bunch we see it and we end the game here I think. Um, it's a bit of a spoiler but <laughs> yeah as it comes out I'm thinking about how to play the fight. I know that I need to play it really slow and just let my team fight you know a bit more ahead of me like this. Like this is pretty perfect. Just use WQ. Don't commit. Wait the Zonia's out and all of their spells. At least repel whatever. And I realized at least died so I just ult onto the Aurelia knowing I can combo onto their bot lane right there to kill them. And then we end the game. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was uh, useful and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. In